Hey everyone, this is Empress Pamela. Welcome to this edition of Manifesting a Winning Lottery Ticket. Ooh, I'm just looking at these, and this is part three of a four part series whereby I combine threes and twos and I color coordinate them. So, as it turns out, these are two of my favorite tickets that I've won on recently. I'm um, using a quarter. What year is this? What the heck? It doesn't say the year. Maybe it's on the back. 2016? 14? I think it's 16. Okay. Not really that impressed, but I'm sure it was going to work wonders, right? So let's do our $2 one. If you've been with me for a minute. You know that um, I've used this card before. I've used it and abused it. And I've won on it. And this ticket number is 81. 10 times the cash. Top prize, 50,000. It's a $2 ticket. Really nice prize amount. You can get match the winning numbers or you get the symbol 2x, 5x, or 10x. Yes, we love this. What are our winning numbers? Today we have number 24, which is my mom's birthday, and number three, which is my life path number in numerology. Not that you need to know, but that's the significance for me. Okay. Now I'm going to reveal the prize amounts, the potential prizes that we are given with this particular game. And we're going to go from the largest to the least. Scratching off. Ooh. So, let's start. We got a couple. Well, we have one shot at the grand prize, so let's see. A three or a 24. Uh, numero uno. Five grand. 16. What's the next dollar amount? 500? 14. Nope, we need 24. And then we have a 50. Number nine. We need a three and a 24, please. And thank you. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do this 50. Ooh, number eight. Ooh, sexy number seven. So sexy. 13. Oh, we got fives left, guys. 29. Last chance. Nope. So today, we need to rely on good old Loteria. My $3 gem of a ticket concept and the actual way to win the game the top prize of 75,000 is to get all of these on the diagonal but you can also win horizontally vertically and even 10 grand on this diagonal so what should we shoot for should we shoot for the top prize let's see we need la luna the mandolin musician and the bell Okay, ticket number 79. Let's see. The world. Ooh, I like it. The bell. Hey, we got one of ours right here. Yes. The bird. Do we have the birdie? Birdie, birdie. Not today. Saucepan. We got the saucepan, everybody. I made a pasta primavera today. It wasn't in a saucepan, but it reminded me of that. No hand, talk to the hand. Ooh, the crown. Who's wearing the crown today? No one, because we don't have it. Okay. Oh, I like the mermaid. Okay, so. Look at this mermaid. We need the rooster and the palm tree. 
Do you think a rooster would seek shelter or shade under a palm tree? Hmm. The rose. Not today. Canoe, canoe? Yes, definitely canoe. Okay. Have you ever been canoeing? Oh, 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 oh. we got the palm tree, guys. We need one more. We need the rooster. Rooster. Cock a doodle doo. Is that what the rooster says? Yeah. Ooh, baby, yes. Give me that rooster, please. Thank you. Ooh, instead you gave me a harp. Why did you do that? I need the rooster to wake me up in the morning. The bonnet. Hmm. Bonnet and Clyde, yeah. Still searching for the rooster and we've got two more left, so. I mean, we could get the musician in the sun or the sun and the watermelon would give us the thousand. I would like the rooster though, please and thank you. Oh, flower pot. Nope. Pear. Oh, got the pear. But guess what? <laughs> Did we get the musician? Just out of curiosity. Nope. This is not a winner. Okay, I'm gonna have to merge and do part four with part three because I did not win. And what I wanted to do, I think I've only once published a ticket, um, a video once where I didn't win. So it's probably because it had an interesting story, but I like to only publish those videos where I win, actually manifest a winning ticket. So this is the fourth group in my twos and threes sequence. Um, I like, let's do the $2 one. So this is the $2 top price, 25,000. I like this one because you get bonus points if you go online and do second chance, which I do. Okay. Have I won on this? Yes, but I don't think I can even remember a really good amount that I've won. Um, you can win by matching these two numbers or get this symbol or this symbol and win $20 instantly. Ticket number is 56. It's a good number. Five plus six is 11. Ooh, winning number two. Winning number, what is that? 15. Or those symbols. So let's do the dollar amounts. Why not, right? Ooh. Ooh, so sexy. Ooh. I don't know why I keep saying everything is so sexy. Don't ask me. It's just me. All right. I'm also going to see the bonus points. Just get that out of the way. Oh, 50 bonus points. That's not bad. Helps. All right. So we need a 2 or a 15, or we need the symbols. Oh, gosh. Sexy number 7. I'm so sexy and shy. Let's see, two and fifteen. Eleven. Ten. Thirty. One. Okay, guys. I need a two or a 15 or a symbol. Please and thank you. <laughs> okay, so that's a loser. Okay, you're really pushing me today. This is the last one, and this is a lengthy one, so we're already almost at 10 minutes. Ticket number is 89. Let's go for it. You know what? It is what it is, right? G46. Okay, if you've stuck with me this long, make a comment in the comment box. And 
give me one reason why you like or dislike the month of August. Try to keep it positive. Positive. I'm sure there's good things about the month of August, right? Maybe it's your birthday. Maybe it's your anniversary. Maybe you always take vacation. And if you do take vacation in the month of August, where do you go? Do you have a place that you go to annually? Almost like a ritual. Or... Um, like a, what is it called? Family reunion. You have a timeshare somewhere. And that's where, when you get together and you go to the same place or you switch places. Like, what's your favorite place to vacation in the summer? That's a good question. Growing up, we would take vacation in August, and we would go to mostly Cape Cod, sometimes Vermont, sometimes, well, occasionally we went to Pennsylvania, um, we went to Maine one year, I remember growing up. We went to Maine, so whatever year that song, um, Tell Me Something Good by Rufus and Chaka Khan, whatever year that was popular, I was in Maine. <laughs> Old Orchard Beach, Maine, I remember that. That was a good vacation. One year we went to Block Island, which I think is part of Rhode Island, if I'm not mistaken. You have to take a ferry over there. It's really cool. I remember cooking lobster and corn on the cob on the beach. So I do have a couple of good childhood memories that basically result from family vacations taken in August. Um... Our neighborhood kids were pretty fun in the summer. We would like do sleepovers. I think one year, probably more than one year, but I remember putting a tent up in my backyard and we tried to sleep outside overnight. That was fun. We had some good times growing up. It was only traditional calendar school back in the day, so Pretty much year-round school was not a thing. It was, you probably got off, school ended around Father's Day in June. It was always before my birthday, so I, birthday parties, like, I didn't always have, well, I had birthday parties, but there wasn't a lot of people. It was like neighborhood kids and maybe some kids from school, because a lot of people took vacation or they went to camp or whatever and then you used to go back so you were off like middle June and then um you went back to school like it was usually right after Labor Day so like early September now they the kids are all kinds of schedules and they go to school during the summer and um, at least in the south even if you're on traditional calendar in North Carolina you're going to back to school in August so I kept my kids on a traditional calendar G60 um, because that's what I was used to and I always thought that the kids deserved the summer off even though I know they probably have done studies where the kids retain more information when um, they have a consistent throughout the year schooling education. It keeps them motivated and keeps the brains active. I mean, yes, they still get um, time off, but it's not 
for a long stretch of time. So, I don't know. What do you think about that? Traditional calendar versus year-round. Do you think the kids are better off going to year-round school as far as information retention? I don't know. I don't know enough to really have an opinion. I just know that what I did with my kids. And they're okay. A lot of it is um, kids are self-motivated or they have their own talents and gifts or the parent can supplement what they learn in school with outside activities or taking them to the museum or whatever, or the kids can do self-study if they're curious enough, and then you just encourage them to foster their interests, their talents. You can't rely on the school to teach them everything. The parents should really participate, be the primary teacher for their kids, though. Right? I don't know. I think so. <clears throat> Could it be another losing card? Oh, well, unfortunately you won't hear me going on and on, and this is already a 16 minute video. Should I, should I post it anyway? Uh, maybe I will, just cause we talked about a lot of different things. And if you made it this far, I want to tell you that I love you. I appreciate you and all the best.